that voice? Find those faces familiar? No? Then you've missed out, for they are who these people have come to see. You know, these are the gods of the Philippine rock, you know, so we're here to see them, so come on, let's rock, man! Yes! One of Philippines' biggest bands, Wolfgang was the headline act at the recent Filipino Ford Fiesta, a day-long Pinoy Woodstock. Hi everyone, I'm Kailing and I'm here at Fort Canning Park where they are holding the first Filipino Ford Fiesta 2010. And being clueless about Filipino culture, I've brought a friend. Hi, I'm Wish and I've been living in Singapore and working here for almost a year now. So I would like you to see a little facet of what Filipino has. Come on. And just as I've expected, stepping into Fort Canning Park was like stepping into Philippines. If it wasn't Filipino music you hear, it was that familiar accent. I'm Kim from Cebu. Hi, I'm Ems from Cebu. Hi! Then there was the food. But more on that later. First, there was something I needed to clarify. Because lots of Singaporeans are telling me about it, that uh, why do we know how to sing? Yeah, everyone knows how to sing. Because since we enter school, there's a music subject in all in, in every no, curriculum. Okay. But we don't just sing at the music classes at the music subjects. For example, the students are bored and the teacher sees it, like math or science. And then they will sing they Stand up! Everybody sing. Everybody has to sing. So for us to be to feel alive again, then sit down and be and, and no. But then yeah. we can do that also. But like if you, I mean, even if I do that every day in school, I don't think I can sing. Uh, for us, it's just it's really a, the, like a natural thing. It's so natural. It's just like I think it's just um, even everywhere. Like when you see kids on the street, they will always sing. Mm. Everybody has this culture of just you know, um, because there are lots of poverty-stricken places. So I think that's the one that we hold on to, mm. the smiles, okay. the music. See, so, but it's not a misconception, right? No, oh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it it's definitely true? not a myth. Fort Fiesta showcased the best in Filipino music talents from Filipino idols to bands like Kapatid, so you got to on the Urban Dub, And of course, Wolfgang. So Organizer Lin Van Productions put in some $100,000 for the event because they felt that there is a demand among the 160,000 strong Filipino community. This is uh, quite rare, right? Yeah, it's quite rare, and we're looking forward to another one next year. Actually. Definitely a good way to uh, get closer with the whole Filipino community thing, yeah. Definitely something that we don't get much very often. How did you feel when you first heard about this event? Like, were you excited? Yeah, I'm very much excited because I like the band Urban Dub. Then, together with Wolfgang, one of my favorite bands before. Well, excited to hear about the event is one thing, but were they excited at the event? Find out in our next clip. <laughs>